This is pretty good. Be a lot better if you weren't here, Lawrence. How am I supposed to have a romantic evening with your mother and her friend with you here staring at me? I thought I told you to go to the movies. What else are you going to spend your money on? Toys? Going to buy some more toys, Lawrence? Why don't you go out and socialize with your friends? Because you're too busy playing with your toys. Hey, look at me when I'm braiding you. Maybe if you didn't spend all damn day horse cocking around in front of the computer, plop down there like a sack of human garbage, no good to nobody, leaving the lights on, stinking up the bathroom, finishing off the pizza rolls. If you were my kid, I would have put you in a pillowcase and drowned you in the river. You're dead weight. Hey, Lord, you know what your problem is? You're not getting laid. You know what you need to do? Get laid! Need to go out and meet some real women, like your mother and her friend. Why don't you chase some tail instead of chasing the ice cream truck? Oh, what's the point? You wouldn't know what to do with it even if you caught some. Tail, I mean, not ice cream. Obviously, you know what to do with that. Maybe if you weren't such a failure, you wouldn't end up dying a sad, pathetic virgin with no friends. Hey, Lawrence. This steak's pretty good. You know what would be great? An after-dinner smoke? Too bad some worthless turd forgot to get me my cigarettes. He sure remembered his pack of ho-hos, though. God damn it, Lawrence. I'm too angry to eat. Hey, Lawrence's mom, we're going upstairs with your friend. Looks like you're all alone, Lawrence. Should be good practice for the rest of your life. And don't even think about touching my steak, Lawrence, because I plan on finishing it after I finish with your mother and her friend. <laughs>